Hi there. Welcome to MCSI. My name is Erica. In this video, I will demonstrate how you can collect open source data from Reddit. Did you know that online communities are a rich source of open source intelligence? We discussed this in depth in another video on our channel. You can find the link to it in the description box below. Let's get started with Reddit. Reddit is a platform where people come together to have discussions on topics of common interest. People interact in forum style online communities. This is a community on cybersecurity. Communities on Reddit are referred to as subreddits. Subreddit names are preceded with r slash. On the right pane, you can find a brief description of what the subreddit is all about and when it was created. I am currently logged into Reddit and this is my Reddit username. I am a member of this subreddit. Here, you can view the list of moderators for this subreddit. They are responsible for monitoring activity and have the authority to delete posts and comments that violate community guidelines. It is not possible to enumerate the list of users on a subreddit. In the center pane, you can view the various posts made within this subreddit. You can click on a post to view the post and list of individuals who have interacted with the post by commenting on it. Anyone can view the posts in a subreddit, that is, even individuals without a Reddit account can view them. However, to create posts and comment on posts within a subreddit, it is required to have a Reddit account and be a member of that subreddit. This post currently has about six comments. You can sort through the comments based on various parameters and view them. Now, let's take a look at this Reddit user's profile. Usernames on Reddit are preceded by u slash. This is the unique Reddit username. At the time of account creation, users get to pick a username. Once a username has been set for an account, it cannot be modified. This is the display name associated with this account. This can be changed at any time. It is possible for many users to have the same display name. However, the username would uniquely identify a user. Whenever a user creates a post or comments on a post, their activity is displayed with the username. You can view the display name only by visiting a user's profile. This is the user's display image. You can perform a reverse image search on search engines using this image to identify other social media platforms where the same image has been used. Karma refers to points that a user has gained from their activity on the platform. If a user's posts or comments get upvoted, that user's karma value is incremented. If posts or comments get downvoted, then the karma value is decremented. It is quite common to see negative karma value for troll accounts. Cake Day refers to the date when this Reddit account was created. If a user creates a post or comments on another post on the same date when the account was created, then you can view a slice of cake next to the post or comment. It indicates the account's birthday. Here, you can view the list of awards received by this user. Reddit has an award system where users can award each other. In the center pane, you can see an overview of this user's activity on Reddit across multiple subreddits. You can view the list of posts created by this user and the comments made by this user on other posts. As you hover over the timestamp, you can see the exact timestamp at which a post or comment was made. Here, Next to the username, you can view a tag with the text penetration tester. This tag is referred to as a flare. It is a text-based or emoji-based tag that users can add to their username, posts, and comments. In the list of moderators for this community, you can see the flare next to some usernames. Here, you can also view flare assigned to posts. In a comment, the letters OP next to the username indicates that user is the original poster that is the creator of this post. Now that we have an idea about how Reddit platform works, 
Let's get started with exploring how OSINT can be performed on it. You can use the search bar to search across the entire platform. Let's attempt a keyword search. You can view the list of posts, comments, subreddits, and people relevant to this keyword. You can also use the sort feature. In the search bar, you can also use search parameters. A search parameter is the word, followed by a colon and the search term. Here is an example. We will search for posts and comments on a specific subreddit. We can search for posts based on their title. We can also run searches based on the flare. The other search parameters that can be used are URL and author. Try it out. Using this tool, you can analyze the activity of a user across Reddit. Just type the username and click Analyze. You can find the list of subreddits a user has interacted with, their most frequently used words, and more statistics about their activity on the platform. Redictive is another similar tool to analyze a user's activity on Reddit. Using Reddit comment search, you can search for a user's comment having a specific keyword across all the subreddits. You can click on a result to view it on Reddit. Reddit search tool is another one that can take more search parameters as input. Try it out. Posts and comments on a subreddit can be deleted by the moderators or the poster. Here is a post within the DevOps subreddit. Let's find out if any comments have been deleted on this post. For this, in the URL, simply replace RE with UN. Content highlighted in blue have been deleted by the poster. Content highlighted in red have been deleted by the moderator. Let's try another one. Here is a post in the Linux subreddit. Here eight comments have been removed by the moderator. This feature is extremely useful when you want to uncover a target's activity on Reddit. Let's say you have identified an image in a post. Now, you want to search for posts in other subreddits that use the same image. You can perform a reverse image search using the link to this image. Karma Decay is a tool that can perform this task for you. Here, we have an image. Let's find out if this image has been used in other subreddits. It looks like this image is not present in other posts on the Reddit platform. You can also perform reverse image searches on search engines like Google and Yandex to identify if this image has been used in public posts on other social media platforms. Reddit users are referred to as Redditors. You can use a Redditor's username to create search engine queries and observe that user's activity on other websites and social media platforms. What other queries can you think of to inspect this user's activity? I hope you have a good idea now about how open source data can be collected from online communities on Reddit. I invite you to pick a target account and target community on Reddit and gather open source intelligence about them. You will get to know how this social media platform greatly benefits Austin.
If you like this video, please hit like and share this video on social media. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to receive more videos like this one. Join our online community of students learning useful cybersecurity skills if you haven't already. To register for a free account right away, go to our website. Happy learning and see you soon.